shot the new Praetorian. Ha 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 ha. The opinions in the following piece are that of the Laughing Ogre and should in no way be mistaken for those of any sane and rational individual. Now, folks, should we allow anybody to come into our country? Do we have a bottomless purse that will allow for the health care of the world? Well, sit back and relax. Here comes the Laughing Ogre! I tell y'all something, constant viewer. Thank you so much, Real Me. Good to have you here. You, the most important cog in this very auspicious machine. So good to be here today. I just, you know, I'm coming to you today not just because I need to do my video as I promised I'm going to do. I'm going to do three a week. You know, continue to grow this channel. Continue to uh, make this a platform that many people can come enjoy, uh, hear some crazy rants, uh, listen to some excellent live streams, uh, get to know the common sense guy, get to know magic bollocks. But this just struck me today, okay? I try not to get up in arms about much of anything, but art imitates life and life imitates art. And we see the Gateway Pundit put out this most excellent story, uh, this happening right now. Photos, Secretary of State signs pop up on California highways for the new year. Quote, felons, illegals, an MS-13 welcome. And you can see the sign right here. Official sanctuary state, felons, illegals, and MS-13 welcome. Democrats need your vote. An anonymous street artist moved out to highways once again to ring in the new year by posting messages to the Welcome to California Highway signs. The signs were put up north of Lake Havasu, Arizona, Prim, Nevada, and on Highway 95, the loneliest highway in the world. I've been up and down that many times. I, I, in fact, a funny little story. I was driving truck, and there was all these ranches. There was the, the Lone Horse Ranch and all these. And I got on the radio. I was like, man, all these ranches, I haven't seen any cattle or a horse or anything. And then my, my CB just blew up. <laughs> you know, everybody's laughing. I'm like, what's so funny? And it was like, uh, those are whore houses. So, yeah, this was up on Highway 95. And it's a very poignant message. Anecdotal evidence and anecdotal stories aside, uh, official sanctuary state. Listen, we have two choices, folks. California can do all of this virtue signaling. We can have uh, Chicago do all their virtue signaling and talk about how they want to be a sanctuary city and how being a sanctuary city makes you safer. People like to say that. So it's safer because then illegals are not afraid to give their information to police officers if they're a witness. They don't anyway. No one does in the ghetto. No one on South Chicago, the north side where the Mexicans are. No, no one talks to the police. We have to make a choice. Do we want to have a good feeling and take care of everybody? Do we want to let a woman come across the Rio Grande, give birth to a baby while she's still wet from her illegal crossing, make that baby a citizen that is able to sponsor said woman 21 years later? No, we cannot do it. Emigration is nothing short of migration if there is no state-sanctioned welfare. When we add state-sanctioned welfare, you are asking Mrs. Ogre to go and help people breathe, a thing that she went to college for, G graduated at the top of her class, pseudo cum laude, a thing that she is up on and goes to these continuing education seminars and constantly new information and up. Do you want her, that's your right to have my wife's service? No, it's not. And as long as we have state sanctioned welfare, we cannot have sanctuary states, sanctuary cities. This is just a really good example of art imitating life and life imitating art. As this is taken as graffiti uh, and as this is looked at 
as something that is, uh, you know, beyond the pale, uh, I'm going to ask you folks right now, look at it realistically with me. California, grow up. You are the middle child that is screaming and crying for attention because the oldest gets it and the youngest gets it. You are that middle child that is kicking and screaming on the floor in Kmart because they want the, the, the Bubba Fett uh, action figure and, and haven't gotten it. Grow up. Mexico, I have no problem with you. But until we let everyone, Germans, Austrians... Uh, white people, in other words, from Europe, and everyone, come in. Just come in. If you get here, you can come right in. Well, then I'm for it. Otherwise, it's racist. There's a racist scandal being perpetrated on the American people right now where we're being told, if you don't allow this, you're, you're, you're xenophobic. Xenophobic. Kiss my Jew butt. And while you're considering that... Be good to your friends, be good to your family members, be good to your loved ones, be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quick to accept an apology, especially when that thing, your friend, your family member, your loved ones, dumb seems to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget about it. Because constant viewer, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life, and everything you know will depart from you. Ha!